Okay, Scenes from Childhood by Schumann. We're going to start with the very first one. Um, and this music, this collection of pieces, there's quite a few of these, and each of them are fairly short. It encapsulates the best version of Schumann, right? This is him at his best. Whenever he tried to write in a more formalized setting, sort of, let's say, sonata form, it always felt a little bit strained, you know, if you have a look at his sonata or his symphonies. They're beautiful, no doubt. But from a um, structural point of view, they're a little bit not natural. This is where he's at his most natural, where he lets his musical imagination run wild and he creates these beautiful little sort of Fabergé eggs of, um, of music. So I think you're really going to like this. I'll play the first little bit for you. This first piece is called A Faraway Land and People. So it's very wistful and um, nostalgic, I suppose. So I'll play a little bit for you and then I'll teach you how to do the entire thing yourself. Here's what it sounds like. is basically an exact repetition of the first phrase that I already played for you. So the way, the way I want to teach this is to split it into two instead of three. There are three layers, but I think easiest is going to be to have the melody, learn that on its own, and then the stuff below it and put them together. I think that's the simplest way. So before we begin, please consider hitting that notification bell. You'll be notified whenever there's anything new that comes out on the channel, film music, classical music, TV music, all of that. Um, and also lets YouTube know that this content is indeed worthwhile and worth promoting. So, we'll begin with just the top here. We'll begin with the second finger on B. And the melody is very simple. 5 on G. 4, 3, 2. Very simple, very elegant. And then the next bar repeats. 2, Five, four, three, two. Easy enough. Make sure you learn those and you're very comfortable with this and you keep everything nice and collect, uh, co uh, connected, very rounded. And then we put them together. See, what you want to do is make sure that the top sings above everything else below it. So I'm going to teach it to you right away with both hands. With that first note of the right hand, we have 4, 2 on the left. Connect the left hand to D. And then connect this thumb to the right hand thumb on G. And then let go of it while still holding on to that B above. Watch again. Connect to D. Connect the G, let go, all the while still holding down that B. Moving on, together, 5, 2 in the bottom, pivot on 2, you can let go of the pinky. Connect to E, thumbs connect, let go, and together, 5, 2 in the bottom. Again, connect to D, and thumbs connect. Here you can allow your hand to slide up the key so that you can reach the thumb on F sharp without contorting your hand. Connect the thumbs, and then three, two, and it's on the second finger that the left hand comes in. Three together on two, five, two in the bottom, connect to the thumb, and to the thumb here. And when you get to this point, let go of everything except for that thumb, and then the whole section repeats anew. See? So just make sure you have all of these notes very carefully placed. The important thing here is that you do all the connections as, as I've uh, described here because it will allow for the separation between the melodic layer and the accompaniment layer to really stand out. You need the top to really sing. And it's very easy for, if you connect the right hand material, 
because you know the right hand does have some notes that are not melodic. You don't want those to stand out at all. So keep them short and only connect what's on top. Nice and slow. Let go. Don't worry, the pedal's going to help you there. Then connect two to five. Pivot, connect, connect, let go, connect five to four. One to one. Three, two. Same principle. But at the end of it, on this A, you let go of everything, and that A leads you to the repetition, which is the same. Connect, connect. Let go, pivot, connect, connect, let go, and let go of everything except for the A, and then something else will come. And that's about it. Very straightforward. There's not that much to it. Obviously, you want the melody to stay fairly... Um, fairly high above everything else. You want it to be a bit louder. You want the audience to really gravitate towards the melody, and then everything below it is sort of like coloring. It's just harmonic uh, flavoring to sort of create a full picture. Okay. A little bit quicker. Pedaling is as follows. We have pedal down to start, then this is all under one pedal, and then change pedal, change, change, and then same thing. So basically you're changing wherever the left hand changes chords. Those are your signals to change. Because in fact, that is where the harmony changes, which makes sense. And then we'll have... continue that on the website. You'll have access to this entire piece, all the parts of this tutorial, and every other piece that I've done, which is many, upwards of 250, 300 pieces. So come join me, uh, download the sheet music, it will be available there in PDF format. And let's finish this off. Okay, and if you feel like I've earned it, subscribe here on YouTube. I'd love to have you. All right, see you in the next one.